Okay, welcome to the Bohr model lesson. Uh, in lab, you were taking seven different metals and you were putting them into the flame. You were heating the uh, uh, metals up. As soon as the uh, metals were heated, the electrons would go from a ground state to an excited state. And when they would come back down from an excited to a ground state, light would be given off. And each metal had a characteristic color. So we want to look now at how the Bohr model is able to explain this type of behavior that you saw in the, in the chemistry lab. So what we have in front of us is the uh, uh, nucleus uh, in the center. And um, around it in orbits, in discrete orbits, uh, we have uh, the K, the L, the M, and the N shells. Now, each of these orbits or shells is able to hold a different number of electrons. And once the electrons are in the shell, they remain in that shell and they take an orbit around the nucleus. So here we have one electron in the K orbit, and that electron is the closest to the nucleus. So it has a, a certain amount of energy. And as we go from the K to the L, the energy levels are different as we move away. Now, what happens is if we take an electron that would normally be sitting here, let's say we have something like lithium, okay, and lithium would uh, normally be sitting like this, what happens if we kick off an electron and it goes to another level? Well, at this point, we have put energy into the system. So when the electron comes back down to this level, that excess energy is going to come off in the form of light. So Bohr's model gives us this idea that the electrons are in orbit. It also gives us this explanation of what happens when you put a metal into a flame. And that is that the electron is excited. It, the atom has absorbed energy. And then as soon as the electron comes back down to the, from the excited state to the ground state, energy it comes off, and that energy is in the form of a wavelength that we perceive as a color light. I hope this helps.